Okay, so now I just want to show you how we've created a certain kind of continuity. And again, I'm not an expert at this, but I just trust my own instincts as to how to do it. And I hope that it lives on and you know, provides the most wonderful opportunities for all of our VRBO guests and friends and family that want to come visit. But anyway, let's go here and I'll show you what we did here. So we come around the corner of the carriage house itself. There's the garden, as you can see it. And um, one of the new varieties that I planted, of course, is the jewel amethyst. Um, you know, you can't, you can't even describe what this does. Well, you can. <laughs> because, you know, there's nothing like this particular beautiful color and, and just how it absolutely whispers wisteria in the wind. But my, my goal in planting this one little stick here, which will take off, is that it will go up here to the railing and then cross over and meet with the uh, grape ivy, which was all across here. We had to get rid of a lot of it because, you know, it could get into the eaves and cause, you know, a degradation of the actual foundation of the building. But right here are ONJs, and these are going so well. These are, well, you can see why. Of course, they're south facing. You can also see, again, the nourishment and how that affected it. And the rose that I cut yesterday in the garden was one of the first ONJ oranges, and it's just magnificent. It just is. But look at this. This is the prize, I think. It's the prize. It's been the prize since we've owned the property. And again, the Wisteria, Wisteria Arbor, which, you know, every year you're gonna see a variation of depth and I guess you could say enormity and, you know, just an incredible amount of growth. But you have to trim this back. You cannot let it keep growing and growing and growing. And it requires a team and we have a team to do this because it's nothing that Jim and I could possibly do ourselves. But uh, anyway, and these are so much fun, the pom-poms. They do require haircuts from time to time, but I just love the bright orange and rust color that comes about, especially now in the spring. And um, anyway, we're gonna be working on this side of the house very soon, and I just wanted to share everything with you today and make it a great day, and we'll see you soon.